Hi everybody, welcome to another video of Game of Thrones Academy. Hi Tamar. Hello. So as usual, we're going to look at A Song of Ice and Fire on Game of Thrones through the lenses of history, real history and real politics to learn something new about the story. Hopefully learn a little bit of history along the way. And uh, this video, we're very excited about this video. It's about magic. <laughs> so this is the first of a series of videos about magic in the story. And this is more of an introduction video to the series. And we're talking about magic generally, in general terms. So what do we know about magic? Okay. So uh, six foot nine, uh, point guard. Point guard, yes, uh, yes. Five I NBA him. rings, uh, three times MVP. First survivor of AIDS, I think. Okay, but let's talk about magic in the story. We have another video about magic junk. <laughs> Uh, in a song of us, in fact, <laughs> <laughs> we read with this story more as an historical uh, fiction, right, and less as a fantasy novel. But there and is magic in this. There world. is magic, but the magic here is very natural. Like it's mm. a part of the world. Basically, this is a, a real story about real people in right. a fantasy world, in which the magic, like you know, witches, the ingor the, ingor the ignorance of the people and the superstition of the of the people, right. are actually true, right? Like the people of the Middle Ages in our history th thought about demons and uh, and uh, Smurfs, you know, saints, and whatever, saints dragons, and, and also. dragons, yeah, yeah, and monsters and uh, giants. Yeah. And we can see that the fantasy element in the story is in the fringes of the story. Yeah, it's, it's in the fringes. It doesn't drive the main when plot. Yeah, when me when we meet the characters of the story, I, th right. I think the majority of them consider magic as something of the past, as like a fairy tale from yeah, the past. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really play a part right. in the plot. <coughs> even, even when magic starts to be on the rise, mm -hmm. you have the white walkers behind the wall, yeah. the dragons in another continent. Yeah. And in the first book, the Game of Thrones book, you have magic, you see magic in the prologue. Mm -hmm and in the epilogue, the epilogue. and only in swan, one small part in the, on the wall where this white tries to kill yeah. the Lord Commander. But, but other than that, yeah. there is no fantasy whatsoever in the world. Mm -hmm. That's like the opening book, and it's, and it's in a fantasy genre. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, it says a lot about, about the series and yeah. how he views magic. Magic, in, from what I know, is usually plays a role as some kind of a deus ex machina, which is a tool uh, like in Lord of the Rings, for example, uh, Gandalf uh, suddenly raised, ra rose from the dead or something like right. that. And, and Aragorn had and this ghost Aragorn army. With the ghost army, yeah. The go, uh, we know the ghosts are there. <laughs> Bring them, and they will help you. Or well, we, and we know them th uh, that they are there only when he needs them to win. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's something. Magic is a tool uh, right. to advance the plot. And, right. and here it's just a part of the world so and the logic behind the world. So talk a little, a little bit about that. For example, the dragons. What does it mean that, these, that they are like nature? Nature in the sense that nature has no more values. Like nature is not good. Nature is not right. evil. They like are, an animal. They have some connection to magic. Uh, this is like a, a known fact, I think, in, the wor in this world. Right, the but this is the world. But this is the world. The, those are the rules. Yeah, and they are, uh, they are not uh, in the story. They are not uh, acting in some kind of a deus ex machina right. in the books, uh, <laughs> right. like something out of nowhere. They to are, save the day. Yeah, they are have a logical, natural, uh, empirical explanation right. to be present in this world. Right. And uh, it's not like I have dragons, I want. Right. I still use them, use them, them as yeah. some kind of a tool, as some kind of a weapon. A political tool. Or a political tool. It doesn't, it, it's not enough that uh, someone has right. dragon. It does, it's not enough. He still has to, he or she, right. still has to do real decisions with real consequences. Mm -hmm. If you think about the dragons, besides the fact that they're associated with Danny, they have no redeeming qualities for you to think that they are good. They could yeah. eat you mm -hmm. if another person rides them. In Valyria, they were used for, uh, for slavery. For enslaving, yeah. So, so, so let's go on to the, to the flip side of the dragons. That's the White Walkers. That's also mm -hmm. another, uh, another magical creatures yeah. that we assume are evil, but they're over there. They're very far away. They're waking up. Mm -hmm. They can raise the dead. Raise the dead. Stories uh, tell us that they have uh, giant spiders, and krakens. I yeah. think are also connected to them. But they're uh, not. Uh, but we don't know. This yeah. is the point. The others are still, in terms of 
most of the characters in the story are, are still superstition. Fair, yeah, fairy tales. Fairy tales. Because, the, because the last time they saw them, it was 8,000 oh, years yeah. ago. And there was uh, no written history from, uh, from I don't know, as no. far as I know. No. 8,000, no imagine way. in our world, 8,000 years ago, what do we know about any people that lived anywhere? Would Just what the myth tells us. Not more, uh, so maybe they have an agenda that we're not thinking about that they're not they're not supposed to be evil in this world where magic is not evil or good just yeah. exists we're not itself. even sure that they are magical uh, magical creatures maybe there are some kind of a uh, barely extinct species of humanoids that uh, <laughs> ran from the <coughs> homo sapiens that we know from our history destroyed every other uh, humanoid uh, mm -hmm. that was around before yeah shout be out before the flood and no no <laughs> yeah so there and, and okay just just to go through the other uh, magic big magic mm -hmm. elements that uh, we talk about the dragons and the, and the others slash white walkers children of the forest they are they have this connection to nature they can uh, do magic that breaks supposedly yeah according to the stories according to the myth right. they broke westeros from essos so and they they can infiltrate dreams if, mm. uh, we can suspect mm -hmm. And they're also Turkey. in the fringes, you don't know almost anything about Only them. Only from stories. Only and from this stories. is why the Children of the Forest and, and uh, the others, White Walkers, they're more interesting now mm -hmm. than the dragons. Because we've seen the dragons for five books or five seasons, whatever. So the less you know, basically, the more cool mm -hmm. and interesting it is. Okay, so besides them, there's Ashai, that's mm -hmm. also a source of magic, very mysterious. Yeah, the, the shadow binders. The shadow binders of Ashai, yeah. Of Ashai, okay. And the, and the uh, blood magic, Miriam's Du. Miriam's Du, yeah. <laughs> and the warlocks the and warlocks, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they can affect the plot, mm -hmm. but they're not the major driver of, of the plot. Magic is, is, fu is a f it's functioning as something similar to the concept of God of the Gaps. God of the Gaps is like a concept that we say today when we talk about uh, the ancient scientists or uh, let's say ancient explainers of the world, okay. how the world works. If you don't know something, the logical thing to think that there's some kind of an agent behind it uh, that rules and uh, pulls the strings. Right. Like uh, if there is an earthquake, it's because the gods are angry, because right. we are sinful. Right, uh, but then uh, when we know more about it, we say no, it's tectonic mm -hmm. plates, and so uh, God is uh, always receding. Newton, uh, when he uh, wrote the laws of uh, physics, he said, "Okay, th this I don't know how it works, so it's God." So magic here, it's maybe uh, acting something like of the God of the gaps. I can't explain it yet, so right. it's magic. I think can explain these giant spiders, let's say, so okay. it's magic. But maybe future gener generations, they'll have dragons, mm -hmm. they'll extract like a piece of skin and put it through DNA, and then now the dragon has three stomachs and yeah. he make, creates fire like this. Mm -hmm. And even we have a common ancestor with them. Yeah, <laughs> for, uh, the giant spider. With the giant spiders, yeah. yeah. We, when we start the story, magic exists, but it's dormant. Is in the background and we forget about it and we have the masters to explain us and right. to create knowledge and it's not knowledge unless the masters say so so they're, they're already trying to explain the world in a different way right uh, which excludes the god of the gaps okay. or the magic of the gaps uh, but nice magic thing. is uh, returning okay so we'll, t we'll, we'll go into more details in each of our uh, videos okay so as always this is we got to, the, to, our, to my favorite part, this video's bold prediction. What is your bold prediction regarding magic? My prediction is that everyone that sees this video okay. will watch our next videos about <laughs> magic. This is a bold prediction. I'm not sure that they not will. Not everyone, but the majority. Some, some of them, some of them at least. Okay. So stay tuned. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, of course, click like and comment if you have any ideas about magic and, ma and magic's place in the story. Mm -hmm. Of course, subscribe. And in the NBA. And in the NBA. In, like, if you've seen like, the top 10 or top 5, I don't know. It's very controversial. Mount Rushmore, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mount top Rushmore. 5. Top 5. Top 4. Top 3. Top 3? Definitely. Definitely. Jordan, magic. What about Delevadova? <laughs> okay, okay, so let's wrap this up before we go, we lose too many viewers and we'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Bye.